Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fuji Blitz and this is a subscriber requested video. In fact it was requested by Tora Sirat, I hope I said that correctly, who asked could we have a look at the T-3485, the Russian tier 6 medium tank, the most widely produced tank during World War II and probably ever. And I said well of course we can. So off I trotted and dusted off the poor old T-3485 and gave it a run. Now. I actually love this tank, although it has struggled a bit in recent times, which is a shame because this tank was like a mainstay of World War II. Anyway, let's have a look at it. Damage-wise, it's going to knock out about 200. Rate of fire is 8 rounds a minute. Penetration is not too bad. Armor is, well, we'll get to that. Speed, pretty good for this tier. And there it is in all its glory. That's what it looks like. It's... A mean machine really basically it's a t-34 with a bigger gun 85 millimeter rather than the 76 millimeter which was put on uh, sort of midway through the war in fact it was this tank that led the germans to produce the panther etc that's what it looks like armor wise and as you can see apart from the turret everything else is pretty mundane what's it look like when it faces off against something well this is it facing off a kv1s and as you can see here it's, you know, the KV-1S is not going to struggle this to pen this tank. In fact, most tanks in this tier don't struggle to pen it. Here's a few more of its stats. Hit points, it's only got 930. The armor there, as you can see on the turret at the front, you've got 90 mil, but on the hull, it's very, very paper thin. The view range, that's just above average, realistically. Camouflage profile, not the best, just around the average. DPM 1,602, reload time just shy of 7.5 seconds. Penetration on your AP, you're going to get 151, APCR 200. Damage wise, iron alpha 200 on your AP, 170 on your APCR. Aim time just shy of 3.5 seconds. As you can see there, depression 7 degrees, really pants. Elevation though, 22, not bad. And the top speed, it's pretty nippy. So, what's this tank like to play? Well, it's tricky. This is not an easy tank to get on with. Now, during the war, I mean, this tank was paper thin. I mean, war gaming have stuck tr pretty accurately to its dimensions. But the thing about it is, in its tier, it comes across some big tanks, like the Tiger 131, which it would have faced in real life anyway. And, you know, it does struggle with the armour. The irony is, that when the Russians produced this tank, it had this sloping armour, which really did bounce a lot of shots. Um, okay, things like the Tiger didn't have a problem. And as you can see here, I mean, we, we've we've done pretty well so far. We've dished out uh, just over 600 damage, but taken two kills. The gun on it is, is not too bad. Uh, you know, it will pen most things. The reload, uh, you can handle it. You can get on with it just about. It will dish out, well, average damage. There we go, we kill number three. And this is the thing about it. There's a T-34, uh, T-34 85 victory. We're not going to have too much trouble with him. It's a similar gun, blah, blah, blah. Um, and as you can see, I mean, we're just penning each other left, right and centre. Hopefully I was going to try and get kill number four here, but somebody took it. So we've done three kills. We've done 1,400 damage. And, you know, we haven't capped any bases, but we've been in the thick of the action. And the thing about this tank is it's a true, true medium. It's a tank that you don't really want to put it too much on the front line. If you put it too much on the front line, you're going to get punished. The, the armor's just not good enough for you to front line this thing. But the gun is pretty accurate. It's, it's a nice gun. It, it will do what you generally want it to do. And there we go, you know, just over 1,700 damage, didn't bounce anything, took three kills, and we get a nice second class for her trouble. And this is the thing about the T-3485. Now, a lot of people have heard about the T-34 in real life. Let's just dispel some myths here. Just shy of 49,000 of these tanks were produced by the Soviet Union. And contrary to popular belief, Whilst they were very fast and they could handle most terrain because they had very broad tracks, they did struggle against the German tanks. There is reports whereby, you know, the T-34 
these things were just getting picked off from a kilometre away by the German bigger tanks like the Tigers and, and stuff like that. And, you know, this thing's gun would bounce off a Tiger quite easily. The thing about the T-34 was that they had to get very close to the German tanks to cause any problems because they, they, they struggled to pen. Not only that, their way, the, the Russians fielded literally thousands of these things. So they had superiority in numbers. So it's not as formidable as people think, and it's not formidable in the game. The thing about it is the following. I mean, this is a fantastic tank, but it is very tricky. And as I said, you can't really front line it. If you front line this thing, you are going to get pasted. You are going to struggle if you try to snipe in it also, because it, it does, in like in real life, it does lose out on that penetration value. This is the tank that likes getting pretty close to its target. But don't go rushing in headlong trying to brawl in this. It's not a good brawling tank. It's a true, true medium. Now, as you can see here, I've not really frontlined it. I've taken two caps. I've taken two kills. And I, I've, I've used the mobility of the tank more. And I've tried to sort of hang behind some of the heavies. So their hit points are getting utilized more than mine. Okay, I've lost half my hit points already. But the thing about this tank is it's got pretty nifty mobility. It's got a fantastic gun. I think he's AFK. I want to ram him, but somebody kills him. So now I've done just over a, um, a thousand damage. I've still only taken two kills. I've not bounced anything. I've taken two caps. And, you know, the tank itself plays like a dream. But as I said, oh, and there we go, kill number three, 1,151 damage. But because I took those two caps and did a bit more spotting, I'm going to get a first class, which is always nice. And as you see there, we, we weren't the top tank. Now, this is the last replay, and it's a good friend of mine, Major Leach of the clan BTSV, rolling out in his T3485 and sporting some pretty funky camo. Now, the thing about this tank, as I said, is you can't really frontline it. And you've got to be mindful of the fact that you really do have pretty poor armor, but you've got very, very good mobility. It's a sort of light medium, and you need to play it that way. You need to know its vulnerabilities, and the biggest vulnerability on this thing is that armor. You saw in the armor inspector, the front plate is pretty wide open. The gun, however, is very good. It's incredibly accurate, even though the aim time is three and a half seconds, and that's a great engine fire, and there goes Major Lich who gets his first kill. He's done 760 damage, he hasn't capped any bases because he doesn't want to alert anybody to his presence. And now he's going to just pile shots into that KV over there. And that's what you can do in this tank. Now, he's not sniping, the KV is pretty close, so he's able to do this. And this is what you've got to get used to doing in a T-3485. You've got to basically suppress that burning need to wanting to brawl in it and get up close and personal on that front line with these big heavies. They will punish you and they will punish you a lot. That is a great way to play the tank from distance and he's taken out the KV. So he's now taken two kills. He's done 1,400 odd damage. He's capped no bases. He's bounced nothing. He's not been hit whatsoever. And he's now going to use the tank the way that it should be used which is he's going to try and stay away from these 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 tanks out there on the reds put a bit of distance with between them and him not too much because obviously you know you start losing dispersion oh here we go hello flat panzer goodbye flat panzer kill number three now it's three against three they're winning on cap points but only just to be honest with you. Well, it's not only just as it's 800 and something against 400 and something. Here comes kill number four. Boom, there you go. Thank you, Wi-Fi, for taking pass. Little Lippard, look at the mobility on this thing. I mean, mobility-wise, the T3485 is fantastic for its tier. I mean, it really is a beautiful tank to drive. As you saw there, the Lippard managed to pen him. Front on, this tank is wide open. 
There goes kill number four, but sorry, somebody else got that kill, my bad. 1,951 damage. Now there's just the British TD to deal with. He's capped the base, so he's stopped them getting points on that base, but they're still getting those points. Major Leech therefore needs to get to that A cap. He needs to stop them getting points. It's only two against one. They're both heading there. They need to. They've got to stop the Reds getting points. The Reds are only 30 points away from a win here. Look at this. Wait for the aim time. Boom. He did actually pen him, I think. We'll see at the end. And this is what you can do with this thing. He's going to pen it, hit him again. Boom. Gone. Now they've stopped the Reds from getting any more points. The AT is going to move, however, into that B cap. He's going to want to try and take out one of these tanks. Still 970 because he's not getting anything. It's still two against one. He's resetting the cap. Can he get round again and put another one into it? Oh, almost. He's done 2,138 damage. This is a really good rollout in a T-34-85. And this is how you should be looking to play this tank. Oh, they're almost caught up on cap points. The AT has managed, however, to cap B. Oh, what's going on? Get out of sniper mode. <laughs> he's trying to get behind the AT-8. It's uh, not as easy as it looks. Now he's done 2,340. And they just managed to cap it and win. So that is a fantastic mastery. 2,531 damage dealt out for tanks killed and that's what you should be looking to do guys in the t-34-85 use the gun use the mid ability do not rely on that armor because it will not help you in any way shape or form i'd like to thank major leech of btsv for kindly supplying his replay uh, i couldn't get the ace in the small time that i had i only played it a few times so i'm really grateful that he managed to uh, to waste the tank and send it to me that has been the T-34-85. As I said, it was a subscriber request from Tora Sirat. I hope that was useful for you. I've been Fujit. been the T-34-85. It's been a pleasure to do this video, by all means. Comment and all the stuff below. Tell us your thoughts on the T-34-85. What you think of it, how you play it. What you think its upsides are, its downsides are, etc, etc. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. It's a nice thing to do. It costs you nothing. If you've got any decent replays, by all means, send them to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com or join my Discord server and you can upload those replays there. The link is in the write-up or description below. So, until the next time, guys, I'll say my usual. Stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield and a happy tanking because, you know, that's what it's all about, having fun and being happy.